Hello there survivors, my name is Jay Steele and welcome. Today we are going to be doing a quick video on how to quickly level up some chibis. I have with me a couple different ones that I was just having some fun with. I like the phoenix ones, they're really pretty. Um, so we are actually in a cave on the island. Now, the way you're supposed to level up a chibi is by killing uh, alpha creatures for experience points and that levels a chibi up. The bad part is after about the third level on a chibi it gets really difficult to get any more experience points because the alpha creatures you have to kill literally you could probably kill like a hundred alpha t-rexes and still not max level your uh, ooh, a little bit of loading there and still not max level your chibi out so I shot a little bit of video footage a while ago and I'm just kind of doing an introduction here about it and the way I found out just quick here is that the, there are caves on the island that I know of, the two underwater caves, that actually spawn high level creatures, uh, creatures that are above max level. So I think uh, max level is 150, and I think I've seen creatures up to level 300, maybe even a little bit more, in these underwater caves on the island. And that also includes uh, some mosas that will, some, and some alpha mosas that will sometimes spawn down here. So I actually have a little bit of video footage to show you guys about how I leveled up my personal chibi on the servers I play on with finding these high level underwater alpha creatures because the alpha mosa and the alpha squid I do believe are the two alpha creatures that give the most amount of experience points based on base stats. If you were to compare all the alpha creatures on a level one base, I do believe the um, alpha 2c or the alpha squid gives the most amount of experience points and then i think it is the um, alpha mosa so being in caves where we can get really high level ones to kill will help level up our chibi quicker and also it turns out in at least in this cave the artifact of the brood is located which is down there there's actually even one a mosa all the way over there it turns out the mosas in this cave at least in all my experience are relatively passive so you can quite literally sit there with a balasaur or a whale, as I like to call them, and uh, no pun intended here, but you can wail on them. Okay, pun intended. Um, but you can wail on them and actually take their health down, and then with a spyglass you can look and see and jump off of your balasaur to get the final kill to gain a bunch of quick experience points. Maybe not quick, but I think it's the best way to gain experience points for the chibi. So after this little bit of a long introduction, let's... um jump into some video footage of me actually doing this and explaining it a little bit more as well so i will see you guys there all right guys we are above the cave of lost hope i do believe this is just kind of what the surrounding looks like um on the map we are around 52 by let's say seven um so i'm at 51.6 by 13. all right so we are coming up here um, one thing I've noticed in this cave is, believe it or not, I think the alphas run away. Oh, I'm not looking at him. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and kill everything here real quick, so I might just speed that up for you. Okay, those guys took a little bit longer than I was hoping to kill. But now we can see we have the alpha mosa here. Level 250 with an obscene amount of health. Um... Normally, this would be extremely dangerous, and I'd probably lose it, um, lose this whale here. But um, I've noticed in this cave, at least in my personal experience, that the Moses don't really attack. So I'm quite literally just gonna sit here and uh, whale on it. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, and I will bring you guys back in here towards the end, because this this is gonna take a while. So one thing I would like to note is you see he just turned around and bit me there. He does that once every now and then. Um, but with the Balasaur, I'm actually not below the crush depth of the Balasaur, so I do believe it's gaining health faster than that one bite hurts me. Um, but it is definitely something I want to point out. You shouldn't have to freak out about it. If he does turn around and he keeps attacking you, I would suggest just to head towards the land right over there. And um, if at all possible, try and cryopod up your creature. But, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to jump in real quick and say he will turn around and hit you every now and then. But it probably won't last. 
so you just keep on hitting him. All right, I'm coming up on just a few more hits here. Got one more I'm going to do. I'm going to call that good enough. Now, on my servers, I have a spyglass that gives me the, um, the health and some other stats like that, so that makes it easier for me. But once it just starts getting really bloody, or you can use a magnifying glass, um, you're going to want to get off of your mount. And let's look at my chibi, how many experience points I have. Um, I'm just going to say 780, because I'm just going to ignore the one. And let's go ahead and finish this guy. <laughs> oh, now what are we at? Um, we went from 780 to 925, so a massive jump for really not a whole lot. Um, the hardest part was just coming down here and just searching down here frequently, to be honest with you. So you'll probably want to have a Balasaur or something down here that stays down here. Um, the Sabertooth Salmon were a little bit of an issue for me, and um, they would a whole bunch, or everything was kind of an issue when it would come together at me. So if you want to, try and clear the cave before you start trying to kill a high level one, but um, you're going to want to clear the cave and a lot of things in it anyway, and it's also good to get the loot crates down here because they usually have some really good stuff in it. So... I think that's um, about all I got for my demonstration, but um, any other way, or another way that I would do it is just swimming around the ocean and having um, your Balasaur here in a cryopod and swimming around the ocean on a dolphin. And if you see a high level squid or Mosa, you can usually take them on. Um, there's different ways to, to attack them, and I'm not going to cover that in this video, but I like to kind of get right behind them and push them up a little bit and they get kind of stuck they don't like being up too high off the sea floor so that's where i can try like to like or i like to try and fight them but i think that is all i have for this portion so um let's go ahead and move on here all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that little demonstration there and hopefully that answered any questions uh that you guys might have about how to quickly level chibis up and a little bit about how they work and just what I think is the quickest way of going about it. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please ask them down below. I'll do the best I can to answer them and hopefully what could be a timely manner. And I hope it wasn't too long. And I want to thank you guys for sticking around to the end. If you did hear, uh, you guys are awesome. And any, even if just one, one person watches this and finds it useful, that makes me feel like I, I did good. So I hope um, at least somebody finds this useful. And I hope you guys are able to use this to get your chibis leveled up quicker because I know it was really frustrating for me trying to get my, my chibi to max level. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did and you really found this useful and it helps you out, consider hitting the subscribe button. We'll do other uh, tips and tricks every now and then and we have a let's play where we just kind of goof around and explore the arcs and have fun. So I hope to catch you guys in another video and I hope to... And I hope that, yeah, excuse me, and I hope that you guys all have a wonderful afternoon. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to catch you all in another one.